Hello and welcome to MZ Cloud. MZ Cloud is a web-based mass spectral database that comprises a curated collection of high and low resolution tandem mass spectra acquired under a number of experimental conditions. Spectra are of the highest quality, being filtered, manually recalibrated, and annotated by fragments processed by knowledge-based and quantum chemical methods. In this video, we will give an overview of the basic MZ Cloud features. To enter the database, you can click the Enter Database button, or you can select specific searches like Spectrum Search, Structure Search, Substructure Search, Tree Search, Peak or Precursor Search, or Name Search. We will cover some of the searches later in this video. If you want to learn about features and updates, check our Facebook feed on the right-hand side of the page. Now we will enter the database. This is one record that corresponds to a unique compound and it contains spectral trees from various contributors in both positive and negative modes if available. The spectral tree that consists of product ion spectra acquired at various MSN stages is accompanied by the corresponding chemical structure, the spectra of the selected node, the precursor structure, and the wealth of metadata relating to the reference compound, spectra contributor, deployed instrument, and experimental parameters of the selected spectrum. Predicted fragments are calculated using quantum chemical annotations, which is a unique feature of MZ Cloud. MZ Cloud provides a variety of views, which you can find either on the left hand side or at the top of the web page. You can choose Standard View, which I am using right now or you can choose Compare, which compares the user-selected query spectrum against the active library spectrum, and the difference is shown in the middle spectrum. You can also choose Structure View. Structure View displays chemical structures of multiple records, and if you double-click on a particular structure, it will direct you to the specific record in Standard View, showing the spectral tree, structure, and active spectrum. In MZ Cloud, common adduct peaks are labeled, and if you move the cursor over a peak, possible molecular formulas will be shown. What is really nice in MZ Cloud is the option to display fragment structures corresponding to peaks in the spectrum. Here we have quantum chemically calculated fragments that are shown in brown and heuristically predicted fragments that are shown in blue. If you ever wondered how the peak intensities change throughout the collision energy range, MZ Cloud allows you to display breakdown curves. You can change the relative intensity values to the absolute intensities. MZ Cloud is organized into libraries. There is one as of October 2015, but there will be more libraries in the future. MZ Cloud offers various search options, including spectrum, structure, monoisotopic mass, peak, precursor, and name search. If you search with any one of them, for example the name search, the results will end up in the search results pane. To go back to the full library view, click on the Reference Library menu item. Another way of retrieving records is by using a filter. You can filter by polarity, ionization method, ion activation, tandem stage, and the QM method. The filtered records appear in the search results pane and the icon indicates acquisition methods and spectra types that the spectral tree consists of. Another feature is Structure Editor in the Tools menu. Here you can open, create, and edit the structure of a compound, and add a charge or add up to it. Selecting a part of the molecule allows you to perform some basic mass spectrometry calculations, like fragment mass, and neutral loss. The structure editor is an easy and useful tool that you will get familiar with quickly. 
This is the end of our introduction, and if you want to learn more about MZ Cloud and its features, please go to mzcloud.org. Thank you for watching.